What's going on YouTube? This is Sean. I am back. And if you're wondering why am I always taking these breaks from YouTube? Well, that's because I am working on new contents and coming up with new ideas and stuff that I can share with you guys. So, uh, with that being said, uh, let's just jump into today's video. And in today's video, you're probably wondering why I have a shoebox in front of me. Well, we're about to do some mods. We're going to take these Nike Ebonons and convert them into these um, original Jordans 1. I think that's what they're called. Or Chicago 1. Original Jordans. Something like that. Well, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am working on my new cosplay. And uh, can you guess what it is? Well, uh, if you've guessed Spider-Man then you are correct because I am working on Miles Morales, Spider-Man, into the Spideyverse cosplay. And uh, before we get started, I want to go over a few things that I'm going to need. I'm going to use this leather preparer and deglazer from Angelus. This is supposed to clean off all the wax and stuff. I'm going to use some black and red paint. I also use some white too. So, And I'm going to finish it off with this satin finisher just because I'm not a high gloss kind of guy so I picked up these Nike Enamon from my local shoe store and I will leave links in the description down below so you can get a pair of your own that is if you don't live close to a shoe store or something like that anyways I really like these shoes these look really cool white but we are about to make them look way cooler by painting them and I'm not really a white shoe kind of guy Angelus got these really cool paintbrush and I also have these black shoelaces because you know you gotta kind of stay close to the reference picture we're gonna start off by taking off my shoelaces and then we are going to prep the surface with some deglazer and I also have some masking tape so I can mask it now what this deglazer is supposed to do is supposed to take off the wax and clear coat that's on the surface of your shoe because the acrylic paint won't stick to that stuff. You want it directly on your shoe. And I did kind of mess up with uh, wiping it. I used a colored rag and you can see right there that some of the color bled through onto the shoe which is not too cool. But anyways, I was able to clean some of that off with some of that uh, deglazer. But I will go back over and paint some of the areas white. Now I got most of the shoes masked off just because I don't want it to be all messy and stuff. And uh, I did as best as I could. Now I was going to mask off the fabric. But you know what? I figured I'm, if I take it real easily, maybe I won't have to uh, get paint onto the um, fabric. And I used these angle brush from Angelus and they worked really good. Like as far as staying within the line. Now I knew I was going to make a mess. That's why I wanted to go back and tape off some of those leather areas. Now I really like this um, Angelus acrylic paint. It's not like your regular acrylic paint. This will actually bond to the leather really good. And it's also flexible too. And it guarantees not to come off. I don't know if I could say guaranteed. But uh, yeah, it's actually supposed to stick. It's not like regular acrylic paint. So you couldn't really use the kind of acrylic paint like, you know, from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Those will crack. And I've tested these out and these don't actually crack. They actually work really good. Now I'm going to go over and apply one coat over the entire shoe. And whenever that dries up, I'm going to go back through and lay down a couple other coats. I actually ended up putting on three coats and you're probably looking at it and thinking, well, Sean, look at all them brush strokes. Why does it look so funky? I hope it doesn't look like that when you're done. Well, it actually doesn't. I mean, the first coat on white is going to show, but uh, you'll see. I mean, if, if it looked funky, you think I would put this out there like that? No, I don't think so, pro. Now, I'm really glad I went and masked everything off. Uh, notice I didn't mask off the shoe, but I didn't mask off the edges, and which is a good thing because I did make a mess. I mean, somehow I got some on my forehead and my nose. How it got there, man, I don't know. But uh, 
yeah, I mean, get really messy when you mess with paint, anything paint, really. Painting on shoe is like painting on canvas. It can be very therapeutic until you get it all over the place and then you're like, man, now I gotta clean this mess up. Alrighty, tidy. we are just about done with the first coat. Now, I'm not gonna actually do the second or the third coat on camera, but you kind of get the idea. Here's what it looks like after the third coat. I'm using a hair dryer to accelerate the drying process because you know how much I like watching paint dry. And so far, so groovy and it's looking really legit. I mean, I like it. You don't really see the brush strokes anymore. I'm gonna mask off the tongue so I can do the label on the tongue too. Kind of forgot about that just a little bit, kind of. But yeah, same routine, same process, you get the idea. Now that all the red paint is dry, it's time to peel off the uh, masking tape. And as you can tell, some of my masking didn't really work so well. It bled through in some areas, but I was able to clean some of it off with the uh, some acetone or you can use the deglacer. I decided not to mask off for the Nike symbol. I was like, you know what, let's see if I can do this. If I just take a little bit of time and <clears throat> be more careful of the edges, then maybe I can get a nice clean job. And if I do mess up, then I can always hit it with some white paint because, you know, I ended up having to go back and paint some of that shoe white because of the yellow um, fabric that I used to wipe it down earlier. So, yeah. Now, I actually went and did two coats on the, or two coats of black on the Nike emblem. I don't really think it was necessary because, you know, black on top of white. But uh, I did it anyways for poops and giggles. Now, I'm actually surprised that I didn't make that big of a mess with the black ink. So far, this is what it's looking like. I did go back and touch up some of that white area with some white paint. Now, I'm going to hit it with some satin acrylic finisher. This will put some of that shine back in there. I think they have like three different type of clear coat. There's matte, there's satin, and then there's high gloss. Now, I'm not really a high gloss kind of guy, but I do want some shine in this. So, I went and used the satin just so it'll look like a brand new pair of sneakers. And these are actually brand new. I haven't even worn them. Maybe once when I was testing them on to see if they fit. So far so groovy and I am digging it. It's time to throw on some black shoelace. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna put these shoes on. I'm gonna go back to the shoe store and I'm gonna be like, check out my brand new kicks, bro. You got this. Actually, I did look on the Nike website and I did not see these color configurations. They have other colors, but I didn't see any in this color. So these are kind of original, kind of. So if this is what you're into, I mean, if this is what you're really into, then uh, these shoes aren't for sale. <laughs> I'm keeping these myself. But I will have links in the description down below to some shoes like this and to the Angelus acrylic paint products those are also available in my amazon influencer store so yeah go by and check it out and swing by my etsy shop for templates i'll be dropping some new ones really soon so yeah so who's excited for the spider-man into the spider-verse movie i am i'm excited to see gwen gwen stacy what's up girl why you got that stink eye did somebody drop a bomb or something is that Pedro Pecker back there? I mean, golly, the years have sure caught up with him. And what is Miles looking at? I mean, why are they all looking in different directions? It's like their spider senses is going nuts or something. I don't know. But anyways, well, I guess that's it for this video. Hit that like button if you got something out of this video. And if you want to see more shoe custom mods videos like this, then let me know in the comments section below. And uh, drop some ideas. I think I have a few ideas of my own. I might make a flash shoe. I got one of those flashing light up shoes. I think that'd be kind of cool to do. So yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe. Whatever. And follow me on. You know. I'll see you guys in the next video.